Hello everybody, my name is Derwee Princix, and welcome back to today's episode of Project Nexus. Today, we are going to be doing something that I don't know yet because I don't have a plan for this episode. Now, usually when I start recording an episode, I go in with a vague idea of at least what I want to do. For example, in the last episode, I decided, you know what, I'm going to go get an Elytra. But today I just kind of don't. Literally every single thing that I had lined up today to do it just didn't seem interesting to me and I don't want to do it. And if I'm not having fun recording a thing, then I will just scrap the idea and start all over. So, um, yeah, no. <laughs> I just have no idea what I'm going to do today, so I'm just gonna bounce around for a little while until I get an actual idea. Now, there is one idea that I had, even though it does involve the nether. Actually, no, there's two ideas that I had. Both of them involve the nether, and as we all know, my, my luck in the nether happens to be atrocious. So... Better than what I- it's better than what I was planning, though, so. Because, see, here's the deal. I would like to look for a Bastion so that I can finally get Netherite. Unfortunately, uh... Oh, is that creeper just gone? Oh, no, it's not. Yes! Gunpowder, finally. But, um... Yeah, no, the thing about Bastions is that I have not found one yet, and I don't know how often they spawn, which is kind of an issue. And see, the thing is, it would be really, really, really easy to search for that if I used my Elytra. However, my Elytra kind of don't have unbreaking or mending on them, which is an issue. Because I'm really not interested in using them until I know that I- when Elytra break, they don't like disappear, they just break, but for that you need phantom membranes, and I absolutely hate phantoms, they are the most annoying thing on God's green earth. So... The thing I could do is I could always just like go looking for one of these by hand, but that's kind of annoying. Looking for things on foot is annoying. I should probably craft these into slabs. That would be the pro gamer move to do. Thing is, first off, I'm gonna just go mining in this direction and hope that no hog looms that spawn on the path I just made. It would, cause it would really, really suck if they did that. I'm gonna go looking for a bastion, and I don't know. Apparently, they are really, really difficult to find. Well, okay, not really, really difficult. I've like heard of them. There was one really close to my old house, but. I'm just kind of hoping for the best here. Another thing is that I really, really want to get some enchantments on this pickaxe soon. Like, I mean, I already have enchantments, obviously. However, do I have any? Nope, I do not have any more slabs. Let me fix that immediately. Okay, there we go. I would like to thank having my having a steady hand for effectively not killing me whenever I sprint jump over one block wide um flab of bridges like this. It's incredibly useful and it makes sure that I don't freaking die. Okay, let's get over there and do the thing. Literally all that I need to get here is another right smithing template and if there is one in that chest right there then I will s oh and if there's one in that chest mm, I will just get it and I will just leave 
here's the thing, I don't... These guys will not take kindly to it if I break something of theirs, which makes total and complete sense. So if I just casually... I don't think- okay, this guy doesn't die. That guy does not have a crossbow, so he cannot hit me. If I place something in here, will these guys get mad? Okay. They don't. So realistically, all that I have to do to get in, get the stuff, and then get out is make a little box around myself in these chests. You guys are okay with that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I will take that as a yes and get the thing and then get out of here instantly. Because I will die. Otherwise. Okay, they also don't get mad if the th blocks that I break are the ones that I myself have placed. And I'm like 90% sure that these guys can't actually place anything. sure to put up a wall there as well. And over the top. So that they can't actually, like... I am playing it extremely safe here. And I mean, like, extremely safe. here once I get a bucket of lava. Oh, here's the deal. Piglins can't run, can't jump, and can't place blocks. Though I'm assuming what that means is that if I place lava on top of my little cave while running away, they will either completely avoid it because, you know, they can't get over it, or they will all pathfind into it and die, which I hope doesn't happen because genuinely I have no ill intention against these guys. This is literally the only way I can- this is literally the only way I can get netherite anything. I'm just, like, literally just trying to not die here. Like, that is my one, number one intention with this, is to not die. If anything spawns, I'm fucked. It appears that that is what happens when you place lava in. Uh oh, they're dying already. Um, we're just gonna ignore that and. Smithing template, mending. That's great, guys. Where, please. Yes! Netherite upgrade. That is literally everything I wanted. We can just leave now. I already have golden leggings, so thank you. Goodbye. I need to get out of here. Quick. Okay, we are now safely back in the overworld with nothing pursuing us, which is actually very, very lucky, because I just stole something from a bastion, and that is a slight problem. Like, it's like, sorry guys, I don't actually mean any ill intent towards you, even though I killed like three of you by accident. Just blame the devs. 
okay, that is literally the only way I can get netherite anything is with those smithing templates and they only exist at your places. So I had to take one and then leave. I'm probably literally never going to return again. Ugh, I hate that I have to do that. Genuinely, piglins are just chilling. And I hate that I have to steal from them just to get stuff. But a guy's gotta do what a guy's gotta do. Went ahead and crafted myself another ingot. However, how many diamonds do I have? I am not going to be making another item upgrade yet. For this reason, you can actually copy smithing templates of any type using diamonds. At least I think you can. And I don't know how you can do- what do you need for that? Oh, you just need a piece of netherrack. Oh, it gives you two? Okay, hold on, hold on. It's expensive as crap. However, it it is worth it. Oh crap, I don't have enough diamonds for that. Well, but hey, and now I have three smithing templates. So ideally I would get at least seven. So I just need four of those, four more netherite. And then I'm good. I guess I just need to go mining then. Because <laughs> uh, there's no other way I'm going to get all of this stuff. Right. Is it boring that I pr that I found the smithing template in the second chest that I made? Yes, probably. However, I don't care because my priorities include the 1977 hit song "Stayin' Alive" by musical by the musical group Bee Gees. This isn't good. This is not good. This is very not good. This is very, very, very not good. This is horrible, actually. This is horrible. This is not good. This is bad. This is very, 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 very bad. Okay, you can all die. You can all just die. I hope you die. And jokes on whoever that was that tried to stop me from buying a redstone yesterday. I can just mine all of it myself. Seriously, though. I do wonder who it was that was trying to stop me to get all that redstone. Like, the dude I was trading with said that they had a faceplate with and... Like, I didn't get, get anything about the color or anything, because piglins, like most nether creatures, don't actually have, like, a good sense of color, because mostly everything in the nether is red anyway, so, eh, it wouldn't have done anything, but, like, I am, I have consistently been the only person that I've ever known with a faceplate, given that I... And, you know, given that I grew up in a really small village with not a lot of people in it, you know, that might have been expected. But still. And apparently they looked a lot like me too. It's just strange because, see, I don't have a twin brother. I have a younger brother. That's literally it, but the whole thing is still just really weird because okay, I do like that, put that there, and that there. Okay, great. The I guess people could have already kind of guessed that, but yeah, that's how I ended up here at all because, um, uh, crap. Suffice it to say, 
my house was not a very nurturing place to live in and my parents well parents i just live with i just live lived uh, with my mom um and she wasn't exactly the nicest person So, uh, yeah. That's all uncomfortable sharing and I know you're just kind of probably just sitting here like dude you're posting all of this on the internet anyone can find you on the internet yeah but I I can t I know I know for a fact that my mom does not know that the internet exists <laughs> because she is probably one of the least technologically literate people that I have ever known in my life and yeah but you can bet that wherever she is she's probably still out there looking for me which actually that's not too great to think about but what are you gonna do about it honestly at this point i'm just kind of sitting here just glad i got out in the first place you know but now I'm just concerned because, like, if somebody's after me, like, the traitor dude said that somebody literally just came in before me and bought out all of the supplies, which means either I just had a really bad timing, which is incredibly likely, or somebody was actually trying to stop me from buying redstone? I mean, there's people who eat redstone in this world. I am not one of those people. So I have no idea what they were trying to accomplish there. Really, the whole thing was just... weird. Like, really weird, but... <laughs> weird things happen all the time, so... I'll just keep... I'll just keep an eye out. I can't really get it off my mind though because that rift town is really really out of the way. I specifically chose the most remote one that I knew. Oh yeah, and by the way, rift towns are just towns that are split across two sides of another portal. Usually they generate when a pre when a pre-existing Another portal has had a small base built around it by a player or something, but, um, yeah. Oh shit. Oh, I thought there was something after me. There is not. I'm just very scared for no reason. <laughs> okay. There's a couple of way, way, way more populated ones, but that one that I visited was not one of them. Riftowns are actually pretty interesting when it gets down to it, though, because they are probably one of the best examples of, like, cross-dimensional culture and solidarity and whatever that you can get. Oh crap. Whoops. And they're actually mostly used for trading between the Nether and the Overworld. Although there are a couple of much rarer rift towns in the Nether and the between the Nether and the End. Again, extremely, extremely rare because the End is way more sparsely populated than the Overworld and Nether given. Ugh whatever one of these days i will i might just get around to explaining the different all of the different like 
I might get around to explaining like basic dimensional politics and shit, but just, but for now, yeah. That's basically just what's going on. That's, why the fuck is there a hoglin on my, oh, there's not a hoglin on my path. Those are just signs. I am an idiot and I probably need glasses. I have now made seven netherite upgrades, which is enough to full netherite my entire set of gear. However, I am not going to upgrade anything until I get eight of them so that I can always have one handy to duplicate when I need it. I just need to mine two, I just need to find and mine two more diamonds and then I will be good. Hopefully this doesn't take an hour. Finally! The, wait a minute, hold on. There's no way that was it. There's no way that was literally it. That was just one- there's- it was just one diamond. There's no way. There's absolutely no way that that was literally the only diamond in the area. There's no- Minecraft? Ah! Oh wait, it wasn't- never mind guys, we're good. I am out of here. Goodbye. Okay, and now- all I need to do is just craft enough of these. Okay, great. So that is one for duplicating and seven for applying to all of my armor. And now I just need to get enough netherite for all of them. So I, if I already have a netherite ingot, but... And enough smithing upgrades. Then I just need six more ingots, which... Okay, six times four is 24, so... All I need to do is find 24 ancient debris. And... Then combine that with this gold, which... Okay, whatever. <sighs> Theoretically, this shouldn't take too long since ancient debris tends to spawn in clumps, but... This is still gonna take frickin' forever. Just gonna... Okay, I have 21 beds. And if that's not enough, then nothing will be, so I'm just gonna take a quick snooze. Okay, books, shield, compass, sword, I, I'm being too loud. I am absolutely being, okay, okay. I don't, I don't think they're awake. If I just go quick and I get out, then, okay, I don't think they heard me. Welp. <sighs> Goodbye then. Hope I never have to see this place again. Uh, man, that was weird. What the crap? What the- Hello? My entire house is just... Freaking... Why am I so slow? Why- Slowness 4, Mining Fatigue 6, what the- What? Is it, hello? Warning. We don't have much time. I'm sorry things turned out like this. We? I'm sorry you don't know what this means and I'm sorry that you'll understand eventually. But if you value- but if you value this world, listen to me. Do not build a time machine. Who wrote? It says this was written by me. What the? What the? 
this what the crap it's the creepers going off and hold on I just need to I just need to pinch myself and then I what the fuck two questions one why did my dream start with the 20th Century Fox intro? Why was it in Kazoo? And why was it in 144 Pixel? Two, I can make a time machine? Nobody told me I could make a time machine. I didn't even know that was an option. That is so cool. I mean, the, the grave warning was less cool, but I mean... <sighs> It's just a dream, man. Also, why did the- why did- the, the person writing that book said we. And I'm the only person in this world, so yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna chalk that up to brains being weird, but a time machine. Huh. I think I'm gonna look into that. That sounds pretty neat, actually. Oh, I'm making- so I'm mining down to make a new netherite tunnel, and I am not pre and I was not prepared for how freaking fast this thing is. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello. Um, don't worry about that. Just- I'm not- I'm mm -hmm. not here. You don't need to worry about me, man. We're good. Everything's good. Just don't worry about it. Another thing that really gets me about that weird dream was- that was a dream inside of a dream, technically. Like, that was some weird, like, meta, dr meta dream. Like, I woke up, like, twice, but only really woke up once. Like, God, I think I've been eating too many spicy chips again, or, like, the expiration date on them ran out or something. Like, that is just, that's not normal. Like, I kind of already kind of guessed that I needed therapy, but I think, uh, whatever. <laughs> what even the fuck, man? I don't even know at this point. Like, just fucking whatever. I don't, I don't have time to be reminded of the night I ran away. I, d I literally just, I, I have a job. No, I don't. Technically, I have a job, and that job is get another right. Prosper. You know, the, you know the drill. I was not made to be reminded of the reason of freaking. I still had long. That was back when I still had long hair. That's embarrassing as hell. Riddle me this, Batman. If God hates the gays. Then why do we keep winning? <laughs> Bam, boom, pow. Oh, that looks fancy. I, I, um, finally that took me like two days. Good lord. And I have an extra Brian here. I'll go back into the nether soon and get myself three more pieces of ancient debris. I should have mined that with an axe just so that I could put a netherite trim on my golden leggings and piss everybody off. <laughs> I feel like that'll be fun. But uh, yeah, that's, how many damage does this do now? Nine? Eh, I'll manage. Anyways, everybody, that will be it for today's episode of Project Nexus. Don't like, don't subscribe, I'm not your mom. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and I'll try and get back on to y'all on that time machine, huh? Goodbye!